We're about to break down the list of Mike Zimmer replacements here on Chat Sports, but this video actually was originally posted on our Minnesota Vikings YouTube channel. So if you're a Vikings fan and you want more updates on what's going on with your head coaching and GM search, go subscribe to Minnesota Vikings now. It's youtube.com slash Vikings today right there, bottom of your screen. I'll also put that link clickable in both the comment section and in the description. Hello, friends. Welcome into Minnesota Vikings now. I am Tom Downey here with the promised Minnesota head coaching candidates now that Mike Zimmer has been fired by the organization to the surprise of absolutely nobody. Zimmer was pretty clearly just kind of checked out, I think. I think he was tired. I think he was frustrated. It was a needed decision for Minnesota to let go of Mike Zimmer, who reportedly, by the way, did not meet with the team after being fired, which eh, I'm not always sure if that's a good thing if you're the head coach. Didn't want to say bye. Oh, well. Either way, it was time for Zimmer to go as the Vikings head coach. Now, remember, Minnesota's also fired GM Rick Spielman. So this initial list is going to change. Who the Vikings hire as GM will have an undoubtedly impact on who they end up going with as the head coach. But let's dive into a list of 12 names I've got for you guys as potential Mike Zimmer replacements. First up is Lane Kiffin. Yeah, this one um, floated out there by one of the PFF guys saying oh, the buzz has been Lane Kiffin and the Minnesota Vikings as a potential hire, and I, I don't know about that one. Um, look, Kiffin has done a good job at Ole Miss. He's rehabbed his stock successfully. He didn't work in Vegas either. I just can't do it. It'd be an outside-the-box hire, I guess. I think he'd be a, I mean, he can't be worse than Urban Meyer, but I feel like there'd be a better college coach you could go target if you're Minnesota. But what do you guys think? I want to hear your thoughts. Would you hire Lane Kiffin if you were the, were the Minnesota Vikings? Why for yes, you would, and for no, you would not. I think a better college head coach option is Jim Harbaugh, the Michigan man. I don't think that Harbaugh is going to leave Michigan. And I don't think the Vikings job is the one he would take. I think if he does leave, the Raiders and or the Bears would be much better options for Harbaugh, given some ties to those two organizations. But if you're the Vikings, I think you owe it to yourself to at least call on, on Harbaugh and say, hey, what's the cost? Like, well, Are you interested or are you just like not coming to this job? And at least do your due diligence from that perspective. Number 10, Jim Caldwell, the former Lions head coach. Ironically enough, or maybe interestingly enough is a better word there, I think Caldwell's stock has got up because his replacements in Detroit have not been that good. He's an easy guy to interview because he, he would help fulfill your Rooney rule, which not the reason why you would do it, but it is, I think, a part of the argument in favor of it. Plus, he's been a head coach before, could be a good stabilizing presence. If you want to rebuild, I think Caldwell actually could be a pretty decent fit for you. But what do you guys think? I still got nine more names to get to the ones I think you'll like a little bit more. Who should be the next head coach of the Minnesota Vikings? This is the pinned comment on today's video. So if you get that ad break here on YouTube, take advantage of it, head down to the pinned comment, and pick your head coach preference. Number nine, Kevin O'Connell of the Los Angeles Rams. The Sean McVay coaching tree. It always gets a chance. O'Connell has actually worked outside of the, of the McVay tree as well. And I think you could make an argument is probably a bit more credible of an option than even Zach Taylor was when the Bengals hired him. So I don't mind interviewing Kevin O'Connell. I do think there are better, younger, or maybe not better, but better young offensive minds out there worth considering. You can bet on the NFL playoffs and plenty of prop bets out there as well on BetUS. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code chat125. When you put down 100 bucks, that will get you an extra 125 for free. Chatsports.com slash bet. 
promo code is CHAT125. For example, you can bet on all the NFC wildcard games. The Bucks are a 9.5 point favorite over Philly. The Cowboys, a three-point favorite over the 49ers. And the Rams, a four-point favorite over the Cardinals. You could do what I'm going to do and take money lines. Cowboys, Bucks, and Cardinals. Parlay it all together and increase your winnings if you hit on all three. And if I get it wrong like I have a couple times throughout the year, don't worry. I have got plenty of leftover BetUS money because of that deposit bonus, 125%. When you use promo code CHAT125 at chatsports.com slash bet. Number eight on my list, Todd Bowles, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defensive coordinator. If your first thought is, I don't know if I want to go defense, you just hired a head coach in Mike Zimmer and fired one who was a defensive mind as well. I get that. I'm actually very light on defensive options this time around. Now, there are other names who can make some sense. Dennis Allen of the Saints. Matt Eberflus is going to get interviews with the Colts, and if you interview Ed Dodds, he jumps on this list. Eberflus does. But I think offense is probably the route I would prefer if you're Minnesota. But I want to hear from you guys still. What type of coach, if all things are equal, because you just want to hire the right guy, of course. If all things are equal, what type of coach should Minnesota go hire? Type O for offense or type in D for defense. Number seven here, offensive mind, Eric Bieniemy. Always been a bit interesting that he hasn't had uh, as much interest in, in terms of getting the actual job in the past, despite being the OC of one of the better offenses in the NFL. Bieniemy does, I think, have some off-the-field stuff that's been reported. You have to vet and verify. But if you're looking for an, a, a coach that is clearly well-liked by his players, I do think Bieniemy would be a good option. This is the range I like. Is I think what I would consider a pretty good hire if you were Minnesota. Number six, Byron Leftwich, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive coordinator. Now, Leftwich is getting some interest. The Jags have shown interest amongst other options. I, the first question you got to figure out, right, is, okay, is, it, is Byron Leftwich a good offensive mind or is it just Tom Brady? Is because I think you could run into the problem of he's just Adam Gase. Now, Leftwich has always been liked by Bruce Arians. I wonder if Byron is the next man up in Tampa whenever Arians decides to call it a career. But if you're going to rebuild, which I think Minnesota might, you could hire somebody younger and less experienced and allow them to learn on the job with a new GM and an organization entering a bit of a reset or a rebuilding process. Number five, a similar mold here, Nathaniel Hackett, the Packers OC. Now, he's called plays in the past. Now in Green Bay, he is a non-play calling OC, and that does worry me. I get a little bit spooked if you're going to hire an offensive mind who doesn't call your plays. Now, it's worked out okay for the Bengals, for example, with Zach Taylor, but that is why you go through the interviews. You have to have that key part of the process there. If they're just not ready, then you cannot hire them, of course. We're going to keep running you through all the head coaching candidates here at Chat Sports. If a team fires a head coach, we're going to break down some top candidates for you right here on the channel and keep you covered every single day with more NFL videos. So if you haven't already, I'm not really sure what you're waiting for at this point. Subscribe to Chat Sports right now. Number four, Doug Peterson, the former Eagles head coach. I think Peterson is going to command interest across the board. The Bears, the Jags have already requested interviews with him. I think he's already interviewed with the Jags, actually. He'll have interest. I don't know if Peterson in Minnesota is the perfect match. I think maybe he wants to, maybe a better fit is where a team could use a calming influence. I think Chicago might be a bit more interesting. Maybe Jacksonville is a better fit from their end. Although I think the Vikings job is probably about as good, if not better, depending, of course, on who they end up hiring as their uh, GM. But Peterson definitely should be on the list of Vikings head coach candidates. Number three is Kellen Moore, the Dallas Cowboys offensive coordinator. Now, I do wonder, I think it's a fair uh, question to ask, is he ready? I, I'm not sure that he is. 
The Cowboys offense hit a bit of a rough patch at various points this year. He hasn't quite, I think, right, in, or right of the ship at this point. Also, it helps when you've got Dak Prescott, a good offensive line, a bunch of playmakers. It makes your life as an, as an OC a little bit easier. But again, if you end up rebuilding, I like the idea of hiring Kellen Moore. There will be some bumps and bruises and some mistakes made, I believe, in year one if you hire Kellen. But that's okay if you are in that rebuilding process. So a lot of this search is going to come down to what the Vikings do at GM and how they feel about their organization. If they're trying to win games right now, maybe Kellen Moore is not the right hire. But if they're looking to take a bit of a slower approach and reset and move on from Kirk Cousins at some point, I do think Kellen Moore could be a good fit. Number two, this is my favorite offensive mind out there, and I feel like at this point I'm almost on my own at this point. Brian Dable, I think it would be a great hire for any team. Miami, where he was with Tua at Alabama, by the way. I think it would be a great hire for a team looking for an offensive mind. He is the Bills' offensive coordinator. Been complaints about his run game. I think the Bills just can't run the football, so let him air, and air it out. Josh Allen gets a lot of credit for developing himself, but... Maybe Dable gets some of that as well. Both a Belichick and a Saban disciple who has had success outside of that organ of those two coaching trees. That's a big deal for me. So who should the Vikings interview? Type in H for a sitting head coach or a former head coach. Or if you want to go hire a coordinator, type in C right now in the comment section. Number one for me. Brian Flores, the surprisingly fired Miami Dolphins head coach. Now, again, I went very light on the defensive mind. Flores, though, I think would be an instant upgrade over Mike Zimmer and a known quantity upgrade over Mike Zimmer. He should not have been fired. There was something wrong in that organization with the way they wanted to handle the quarterback situation, the, the way they the organization between the head coach and GM operated together, and Flores ended up getting the blame for that. But he was successful in Miami. They had more winning seasons under Flores, and he beat Belichick more often than anyone had done in Miami in decades. So if I'm Minnesota, Brian Flores, regardless of my GM choice, is one of the first names I'm calling for an interview. This was, after all, the pinned comment on today's video. So one last chance for you guys to go answer it if you haven't already. Who do you think should be the next head coach of the Minnesota Vikings? 